But um, yo, Ti, thank God that that he's free at last. Um, Jeezy, oh my God, um, you know, Jeezy, Busta Rhymes, that's it. Uh, uh, oh, Rick Ross, Rick Ross. Oh, Rick Ross, Rick Ross. Brother right here from day one, we used to wake up and I mean, damn, pause, but like, just out. I mean, I mean, back in the days when he was like 10 and I was a little bit older, his older brother, we used to fight over the over the frosted flakes. I'm telling people now, you know, my new slogan is my new slogan is we come out December 4th, we gonna own the fourth quarter. You know what I mean? We gonna own the fourth quarter. And if you don't jump on the bandwagon now, it's a problem because I don't want you jumping on the bandwagon come when we this far. You better hop on now. I'm giving all these magazines, everybody. Don't chop this. Everybody a chance to hop on now. Don't come hopping on later. I'm not like winning the Super Bowl and then want to automatically be a fan of mine. Don't do that. I'm advise you to hop on now and get on the train and don't miss it. Exactly. One thing I noticed about you, you're a really incredible dancer. Oh, thank you. And I wonder, like, take moves from people like Chris Brown. What? You said, do I take moves? Yo. Why would I take a move from you? Yo. Nobody is touching my man. I got a million on it. <laughs> the best dance out real talk, bro. Terry, For real. Honestly, my you don't, bro. So don't 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 ask this man. He taking moves from Chris Brown and don't ask no other disrespectful ass stupid ass questions. That's real talk. You got a problem when you can highlight it, bro. Wait, hold on. Hold that's real. That that's real talk. Oh, that's right, pal. Yeah, you probably about to go do 106 and Park. I missed the 106 and Park, homie. I'm out, bro. Come on. Oh, I ain't even finna let you go out like that, pal. That's real talk, my. And he come out, hey, and he can come out here and see about it too, for real. He can holler at Big D and Big Los of his pride. Hey, D handle that, Big D. Songs with gay rappers, and, and you know who are not obviously in the closet. Possibly, yeah. Oh, when you said who not in the closet? Who is in the closet? Possibly, man. Yeah. Possibly. So, so, so you think that you've worked with a, with a gay rapper? Yeah, man. And and gay, not being just full out gay, but hiding and trying to pretend like he, you know, loves girls and lived the rap lifestyle. But really, he's a man fan. He's a man fan. Yeah. Man. There's a lot of man fans out there in hip hop. I got you. <laughs> I got you. Um, I see how you niggas be looking at niggas when I be around too. They be looking at niggas crazy. And you be thinking, you know, see, wait, wait, no, I'm saying, what you might think, you might just see a rapper, right? Looking at another rapper, you might think it's like, like he looking at a nigga like he got a problem with him, right? But nah, he really looking at him like a man fan. There's a lot of, there's a lot of man fans in hip hop, man.
There's a whole bunch of you whole ass rap niggas that in the closet, nigga. Yeah, you in the closet, nigga. Know what I'm talking about? You a homosexual. Know what I'm talking about? I ain't got nothing against you, but nigga. The only reason why you probably hearing them on the radio a lot and seeing their video a lot money. is because they got like <laughs> little weird situations with niggas. I don't know if it's like a homosexual situation, some believing in a devil type situation, some going <laughs> against the grain situation. <laughs> niggas be doing any and anything they gotta do. I got a hundred plus, I got 15 carats, you understand? Ooh, you won't see them, they big and they swole. So when you, when you kiss, <laughs> I gotta ask I ladies, no I got y'all up here. So when you kiss the girl, right? Hey, they I'm the only person he kiss. Uh, yeah, That's how I roll. We roll like okay, that. Okay, now. Uh, Ain't no freaks. Okay, we just roll like that. And my son, it. I raised them, you heard? I'm gonna leave that one alone. Oh, Jay Fizzle, yeah. for real. Jay Fizzle. Jay Fizzle. Fizzle. Okay. Uh, I got my son right here. Okay. Yeah. Special That's delivery, up. too. You all right? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Big lack. How are you doing? Big lack. Big lack. Big lack. Big lack. My bad. Man, you know what I'm saying? You know, baby, being able to get one to do that. You know what I'm saying? Because fuck. I was brainwashed at one time, you know what I'm saying? I would've did anything the nigga said to her. I probably wouldn't have went that far. You know what I'm saying? I probably would've been like, you know, what you tripping off or whatever, but, you know, Sean ain't don't know no better, you know what I'm saying? The whole thing. He don't know no better, though. I mean, you know, what could I say? Mm. <laughs> what could I say? I'm trying to give him some credit. to my boy uh, Ray J 24-7 coming to you live. We got a uh, serious concert that we got to attend to. <laughs> concert in my living room. You know, that's how we do. We're 24-7. Everybody, I'm going to grab somebody's hand. Let's get feeling lonely. And if you're going through hard times in your life, just relax. The memories of Grand Rapids certainly feel a long way away. When I seen it, like for myself too, there's a lot of artists I like, but I am the father of a 14 year old child that's influenced by hip hop, how I was influenced by hip hop when I was young. So I wouldn't want him to do the Kanye skirt thing. When, when these guys do wear the skirts or their clothes, a ASAP Rocky, or their clothes that look like female clothes, I think they have to understand the impact they have on our culture.
first of all, I want to say, can you stand up? I got to see this outfit again that you have on. This is like amazing. One well, question, listen, though. When I hit Slay, he ain't gonna be able to even stay in his own town because I got some goons out there that's gonna get him too. Over the, the phone, Ray, but... on the phone that like niggas and they're gonna rape that nigga. <laughs> get that nigga over and stick it in that nigga boot. All right, all right. It was just too saying? much. What happened? Just, Some of the booty goons got locked up? Nah, and nah, nah. It was nothing like that. It you was... still got booty goons? Come on. Yeah, wait, what is a booty goon? <laughs> that was the one thing <laughs> that really took me off guard. Yeah, you you uh, said no, you got guys no, that will rape Fab. No, it was a bad <laughs> night, man. And Fab, no, I was turned up. It, I, nah, nah, nah. Because we had somebody up here and it was like that. They know that you and Shook really have dudes. Yeah, Claudia Jordan. Claudia Come Jordan was on, like, yeah, yeah, it's the guys that were in jail. and they. She said she was chilling with Shook and Shook was oh. sharper than a screwdriver. And Shook said, yeah, you know I have my mans and then rape them. <laughs> <laughs> like, no, but that is the scariest punishment I think that you could have. Absolutely. Shug Knight, Shug Knight's on here too. Shug Knight was sharpening a screwdriver talking to me about how some of the boys raped some guy one time. It's like, like oh. I guess that makes oh. me... <laughs> Wait, Shug Knight has booty goos just like Ray J has booty He does. He was telling me like this That's guy crazy. basically <laughs> disrespected him. So he, you know, he was sharpening a screwdriver talking about like, this is... My life. You sure he didn't scare you out of the panties? No, no, no. He got sharpening a screwdriver no. talking about rape. Might Shout out to Shug Knight. We good. <laughs> Eat a booty game, you know. You know our motto is, baby, lay down, we got you. You know. You know a lot of motherfuckers were trying. Um, radio station, I meant to call Ricky Smiley ass. That's my homeboy, anyway. You know, you know, you know, they they get their joke thing on. You know, I'm a big jokes too. So, but they were trying to insinuate that we were some fruity ass niggas or something. But nigga, we eat a booty game. If you niggas won't eat your old ass, we'll eat it. Uh -huh. I do got to ask you about the leopard print uh, joint you had on. Now, was that was that a shirt or was that was that a dress? Oh yeah, yeah, that was a dress. It was a dress. I think that was like a eight, seven, eight year old dress, right? <laughs> Rappers in, you know, more uh, commonly worn feminine attire. Mm -hmm. uh, young Thug has been topic of discussion for a lot of people because mm -hmm. he's openly said that he wore like a little girl dress mm -hmm. at, I don't know, his video, some appearance, something. But at the same time, I mean, people know he's really in, in the streets like mm -hmm. that. I mean, you know, um, he has videos with all his homies with ratchets and whatnot. He is apparently has a wild life. Yo, man, there's also, you know, been a lot of talk with um, 50 Cent saying a few things, you know what I'm saying, maybe about the way you handle man, we yours got and, money, you know what I'm saying? We got money, we So got why, money. Why, why is it that Wayne didn't respond to him? We like, got money, man. We on islands and jets fucking hoes, man. We ain't tripping on bed and shit. We got money. At the end, it's only going to be Tony Yayo and 50. Banks going to go too, man. I'm telling you, it's only a certain amount of time, man, that you just get niggas in their ass, man. You can't. That's me, man. I seen the rubber coming. I jet it. I'm out. Nigga, you ain't, I'm not with that homo thing. Man, you can do it to them niggas, man. So niggas is, you know, they niggas love ass, but you know, butt pirates. They do our all that. You know, that's they. That's they, man. I like girls. I I was supposed to sign with Young Money. Okay. I was supposed to, 
But I sat around Birdman. And you know Birdman ain't gonna sit around and give you the real. I'm scrolling through my comments, you heard me? See how you little puss ass boys comment talking about some Get you eat ass. Yeah, nickel. I'm a gangster, nickel. Real niggas eat booty, man. Real niggas please they bitches, nickel. I don't get that. All this ass play is priming you for something. All this infatuation with the ass and the asshole and having heterosexual men obsessed with the asshole. It's to prime you for something else. To be comfortable with sodomy. To just be comfortable with ass play. And, and, and to make you so comfortable that now you can't talk about somebody else who's into ass play. Because they're psychologically making you feel like sodomy, and that's what it is, anal sex, is part of natural sex. Um, I got a lot of gay friends, you know what I'm saying? Jamie Foxx, uh, you know what I'm saying? John Travolta. I, I fuck with a lot. Of, I got a lot of gay homies. Like, would, would you like? Ever, would I fuck Diddy? Yeah, yeah, I fuck Diddy. Yeah, I'm, I'm not gonna front. I, I fuck the shit out of Diddy. Like, I'm speaking of the book, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, why not? Like, you know, Diddy's attractive. You know what I'm saying? Get him off with like a, a bottle of Ciroc, like, you know, shot of Ciroc. You know, he got plenty of Ciroc. Like, you know what I'm saying? Get him fucked up. You know, I, I fuck. Like, You go back to that Ozone article and you read every statement I made in there and if you find a place in there where I lied about somebody, I, you research it. Y'all give me a call back and I clarify what I mean. There it is, there it is now, now, guess what? Now, let me say this, and I want it to be clear. I'm not apologizing for what I say. I'm clarifying what I meant by what I said. Right. Okay. We all know in now the South, we got to start acting like it's a side. We got to start having some pride like it's the side. And let me say this, and y'all might not like this, because a lot of people don't like stuff. But ATL is considered to be the gay capital of the world right now. And y'all got clubs over there with boys standing in the parking lot kissing on the mouth. And you know, if you're gay and you're out of the closet, that's cool, because everybody got their questions. But man, it's time to start cleaning up our own neighborhood, because the dude from Texas shouldn't have to get on in no magazine to make you clean up your neighborhood. So if I really wanted to diss that now, it was a bunch of things I could have said about a bunch of people, and I could have really, really did and hurt some feelings. Now, don't you know that? Yes, sir. Because yep. I know who the gay rappers is. I know who let their models stick their dildos in them, and I know who did what, where, when, and why. Nah, man, it's no need to embarrass nobody that ain't done nothing to us. Respect. But if you're gay, man, and you're ashamed of it, you need to stop doing stuff you're ashamed of. Anything done in the dark gonna come to the light. I ain't got to expose them, because they exposing themselves every day and every night. Okay, so if you're gay, and you rap, and you, ain't, and you, and you stand in the closet, then you need to come on out of the closet and let them know who you eat. Because if you ain't proud of what you do, then don't do it. And if anything you're ashamed of, you shouldn't be doing it. You know who getting caught in the Range Rover with the bar. <laughs> you know what's going on in that lounge, just like I know. You know who got caught in the Range Rover with the bar. Okay? No, I don't really. <laughs> okay, you nice. Know, you know. I have just received word that it's time for the Ryan Report on Atlanta's big station, V103. The Ryan Report brought to you by Charter Communications. Who had this accident trying to pick up the transvestites at 1 o'clock in the morning? Hip-hop superstar based in the A. And all he rap about is gay shit. He's, he's with the gays. Mm. And we know this. Mm. <clears throat> Bro, you do anything for like Wayne was trying to sneak into the gay world. <laughs> he was trying to stay hood, but trying to grasp that gay fan base. Yeah. The motherfuckers are in the billions, bro. Gay people are in the billions. And Malcolm Moore does stuff for gay people. Mm -hmm. 
<laughs> Magamore does stuff for gay people, bro. Mm -hmm. And when they put them votes in, a billion of them rainbow motherfuckers was tallying up. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, like I said, I just think like him, him pushing the gay stuff is what helped it. He's involved. He's involved. But he's involved with he's involved with this shit, man. He's involved with that play shit. First off, you know, I wanna make a statement. Uh as far as Jay-Z, I never said he was a homosexual. I involved with this shit, man. He involved with that play shit. Would not call me being a heterosexual, I would never insult a man by calling him a homosexual. He's involved with this shit, man. He involved with that play shit. You know, as far as that's concerned, um, I never witnessed any homosexual activity because, I mean, come on, first of all, if I did, like, what would I be doing? I'm not gonna say that I got a lot of gay fans, but shit, after I got naked, like, I got, like, almost fucking 12,000 more followers. Mm -hmm. Niggas! <laughs> I've never did nothing female-ish, like, you know, like, I've never, like, Hugged the guy. I've never lit a wing, kissed my father on the lips. Uh, I've never wore a skirt. You know what I mean? I've never wore girl leggings. Like I've never did stuff like that. Um, he can be the most gangstest nigga on the planet. That does not mean he's not a Macklemore. But this is what the game is going to. That's what it's going to. Then, here it is, it's time for a contract to come out. Nigga want to sign you for five years, you like, nah, dawg. So you don't want to sign with us. Nah. Not for no, nah. Man, pop in the tape. Show this nigga what he did last night. Then that motherfucker like, man, what the fuck? Yeah, well, what the fuck? That's what happened. <laughs> you got fucked. What you gonna do? You gonna sign that contract? You don't want nobody in the hood to see that shit. You don't want this shit to get out, though. Come my motherfucking rich gang and shit. You niggas keep trying to test me. Y'all keep trying to test me. Keep trying to see if I'm under the five and shit. But anyway, yeah, I was on media takeout on World Star and shit. Yeah, Birdman fucked me. He fucked me in the ass for the deal. I'm gonna be real. Birdman <laughs> fucked me for the deal, man. I suck, Birdman. Oh, oh, oh. What? <laughs> We in the motherfucking that, building, 2015, yeah, nigga, what up? <laughs> Woo, 2015, rich gang, man. 2015, Bird loves us, he loves us. Bird man fucked me for the deal. Now, is this true or not? We don't know. You see when these rappers start trolling, like for example, Young Thug, we have all these uh, Kevin Gates, they're trolling. Now your trolling comes back to bite you in the ass because you gotta really live that troll, right? You've been trolling that you might be homosexual, that you're into a homosexual lifestyle, well, this kid seems homosexual, and he says he's doing homosexual shit with you. 
So until you come clear this shit up, we might be inclined to believe it. You gotta really live that trope. Hey, I'm on that Hugh Heffler shit, man. If I ever was to have to go sit down 20, 25 years, the time they let you sit at home with your family, I'm bound to go get my motherfucking breast dead. I'm bound to get my titty dead so I can do my 25 year with hold. I'm bound to go get my motherfucking breast dead. I'm bound to get my titty dead so I can do my 25 year with hold. gay and transgender inmates would be in grave danger elsewhere but inside this unique wing of the jail they have found safe haven away from gang rivalries and inmate on inmate violence it is so safe in fact that some straight inmates try to fake being gay to get in i'm bound to go get my motherfucking breast dead i'm bound to get my titty dead so i can do my 25 year with hope i'm sitting in the k6g wing of the men's central jail these are gay and transgender inmates, people who, for the most part, are non-violent offenders. Almost all that I met today are here due to drug addiction. They are segregated from the general population for their own safety. They don't want to hurt me, you know, just for being what I am, what I'm portrayed as. 33-year-old Erica Anderson is transgender. So you are on hormones, yeah. even though you're in jail. Complications in this place as well. Being locked up together, relationships can develop. Be like, Lenny, what's up, n What's up with that ass, though? <laughs> Did you eat ass? Yeah, nickel. I'm a gangster, nickel. Real niggas eat booty, man. Relationships can develop. Homies sharing music, and then we shared love. Jail special couple of months ago. Now, normally when you see a special about jail, it's on regular TV, and there's a lot of shit they don't show. Oh, not the HBO jail special. Oh, they showed it all. They were interviewing a brother, and then they said, now, sir, when a new inmate comes in, and he wants some drugs, how do you initiate it? The guy goes, well, the first thing I do is make him toss my salad. When a new Jack come in prison, like, he don't have no imagination what's going on in prison. He don't understand who's who, what's what, like. Most all young guys come in prison, they will try to find a homosexual first to find out who got the drugs, who to talk to, who not to talk to, you know, which backs wings to move on, right? In certain jails, you have a lieutenant standing up there, and when guys come in, everybody standing up there and they point down, yeah, that young motherfucker's mine, that's mine. First of all, right, if he's a newcomer, right, I want him to suck my ass with jail. Go real niggas eat booty, man. Man, I'd rather be a real nigga that eat booty than a pussy, scary, bitch ass nigga. It's 2013, man. They letting people get married. I'm saying to each his own, long as you don't bring that part of your life. Like I said, people's personal choices have nothing to do with their talent. His sneakers is his talent. You understand his personal preference of if he's gay or what we so what? Do you like his sneakers? Buy him. Okay. Fa fashion and hip-hop has always been relevant. I think it's the um, genre of the fashion, whether it's high fashion, low fashion. Over Jeremy Scott was always seen as a more fashion, but it wasn't always masculine fashion. You know, there was a sense of femininity, femininity to it, you know. And I think that fear of being feminine and that, you know, that whole thought is just out the door. It's, it doesn't exist anymore, especially with artists like Rocky, who was kind of the first to to kind of to boot Spray off and up. say, you know what, uh, fuck, ooh, <laughs> fuck fashion. I'm not gay. So, uh, I suck a dick or two, but I'm not gay. You know, every blue moon, like, I make sure that I, I, I make sure I'm not gay. You know what I'm saying? I see a nice chick, and I'll be like, ooh, she bad. You know what I'm saying? I see an uh, uh, attractive dude, and I'll be like, that nigga ugly. I don't, I don't like that nigga. You know what I'm saying? And, and I think about it twice, but still. You know, so I make sure I'm not gay. I make sure. You know what I'm saying? Um, you know what I'm saying? Like, it, it ain't nothing wrong. Like, it ain't nothing wrong. Like, if, like, if, if you want to hit a nigga, like, you know, every blue moon, like, that, that ain't gay.